Hi everyone, this is Ronnie from the UK Fruit Fest. I want to thank you for coming along and watching this video. I hope everyone's had a good Christmas and Boxing Day, whether that's a relaxing time for you or not. And all I wanted to make this little video about, um, just to keep you all updated with what's happened with the Fruit Festival or what is happening, the festival next year is booked to take place in the first weekend of August so and the few days leading up to that so if you want to put that in your calendar as a time for the event happening then that's that's the time the first weekend of August um, now that's so that's that's that <laughs> that's that's all that, that's all I wanted to say about that really but I will be sending out some some stuff <clears throat> in the next while to look for your feedback on a few things and just a, a survey with some information of how you'd like to see the festival progressing over the next few years and what kind of things could be added to the festival or what would be useful or any other ideas or suggestions you have and <clears throat> it's really good to get your feedback and your ideas on that. At the same time um, I wanted to tell you about something that's coming out in a few days time that I think is going to really be of value to all of you and that's Dr. Doug Graham's new book called Perpetual Health. Now over the last few years whenever I've seen Doug or spoke to him he's always been working on this book so every day for, the, for years he's been working on this book and in his own words he sees this as his most important book he sees this as, as a, is the thing that he'd be remembered for most, he thinks. So the the book is really about, obviously, perpetual health. It's, it's about hygiene, which is a topic that he is really passionate about. If you don't know a lot about Doug, um, he goes back, obviously he's been a raw, raw food vegan for about 30 years now. Before that, he was an athlete. Um, trampolinist and he coached people and trained people in that became a chiropractor and because he he obviously wanted to go into health in some way and along the way started to meet people that were talking about hygiene and started to go to hygiene conferences and became involved with a guy called TC Fry and would do lectures with him and, and so on and so forth but of all the people I've met, there's a lot of people that talk about health and different things. I've never really met anyone with such a depth of knowledge and hygiene. And it might not sometimes come across. If you go to one of his lectures, he might only talk about one specific topic. Um, if you read some of his other books, maybe it's just confined to certain ideas. But if you if you have the time to ask questions of him about hygiene and so on. Um, he has a real depth of knowledge and he's really studied it more than anyone else I can think of. He has more information, he's read more books on it, he's met, he met the people of the previous generation who were practicing it or teaching it and he's been involved in obviously writing courses on it and teaching people about it for a long time. So there's not many people of, of anybody that know more about the practice of human health than Doug Graham that I've obviously that I've met anyway and there's a lot of people that like to say they know a lot about these things but um, he has a real depth of knowledge that when you keep on inquiring asking him more questions you find he's got he's got more and more to say on things so I think this book is going to be really uh, a must have, a must read, a very fascinating book. It's on pre-order now, it's not available right now but you can pre-order it and I think it comes out on the 1st of January. So I'll put a link below or a link somewhere or you can just go to the Food and Sport website and order the book. I believe it's $20 right now and it's in uh, just, the, um, just the, the digital version right now is available. I think the way it's set out is 365 days of lectures and uh, 
365 days of uh, essays on health. So I think it's going to be really eye-opening for people. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how successful it is, I don't know. But I just wanted to let everyone know about that in case you hadn't heard because I think it's going to be uh, a really interesting book, something that a lot of you would would uh, would get a would get a lot of value out of. So that's everything for me right now. Hope everyone's doing well. Feel free to uh, respond, send me an email back, let me know what's happening uh, with yourselves, and yeah, and over the next probably few weeks, going to send out some more information to uh, get some feedback about about what how you'd like the festival pr to progress what kind of other perhaps additional events you'd like to us to put on, maybe some smaller weekend events, some smaller getaways, maybe something in another country, another climate maybe, who knows. It's all, there's a, there's a lot of different avenues to go down, things we can do. I would also like to point out for a lot of you that due to some technical issues with the email server and stuff like that, I lost a lot of people's address information, so if you if you go down to the bottom of the last email you got, you can go into, you can click on, I can't remember exactly what it says, but it's like click on your settings or your information, and if you click on that you'll see what information we have on you. If we don't have your address, your home address, if you don't want us to have your home address that's fine. But that's one of the ways that we send out information about the festival. So uh, every every year I usually send out a, a quite a detailed um, information pack, basically, about the festival. Uh, so if you want to get that, then make sure that if you go to the bottom of the last email, make sure that your your address is um, is up is uh, updated. And go and do that now if you can, just to make sure that we've got it. Okay, thanks a lot everyone for watching. Hope everyone's having a good time off, or if you're working, I hope it's going well. And I uh, hope to see you next year. The Fruit Fest has grown about 50% every year, so it's always, it's getting bigger and bigger. We'll see how it goes. I uh, hope to see you being part of it in 2016.